Now, Arnold Schwarzenegger had one of the most famous chest developments of all time. So in this video, we want to go over an exercise that helped build Arnold's chest. Let's do it. The first exercise is going to be the incline press. Now, Arnold was a huge advocate of developing the upper chest because he would say, if you overdevelop the lower chest, it looks like you just have saggy man boobs. And he's not wrong about that. You want to pay close attention to your upper chest, the clavicular portion, the clavicular head. And one way to do it is the incline press. Now, you'll notice some of the things when he performed this exercise is one, he would typically keep it at a 45 degree angle. So not too low, not too high. It's kind of the sweet spot for him. Uh, another thing he would do is take a very wide grip. So he'd go really wide outside here and he would always say, concentrate on the stretch and concentrate on the flex. So bring that bar all the way down, getting that nice deep stretch in the chest and then flexing as you work your way up to that top position there. So it looked like something like this. Wide grip, down all the way, get that deep stretch, then the flex. Very simple movement. Now, another thing he would typically say is when you're bringing the bar down, Act like you're meeting your chest to the bar. Now, this is actually really good advice because one thing you have to pay close attention to is keeping your shoulders back in any kind of pressing motion. It'll activate the chest a little bit more just because your shoulders are now really retracted back and it puts more emphasis on the chest. So if you notice, if you bring the bar down and you're meeting your chest to the bar, it's forcing you to pull your shoulders back and you'll also get a deeper stretch in the chest there to get more activation and really that's what it's all about to make sure those muscles are working correctly first exercise down let's move on to the next one the next exercise is going to be an isolation movement it is the dumbbell flies now arnold is all about his angles he wanted to make sure he hits all the different angles of the chest we already did upper chest. This is a little bit more the mid chest, but it is an isolation. So now it is taking more of those triceps and front delt out of the equation and really concentrating on just the pectoral muscles there. And this one is gonna definitely be focusing on the stretch. Now you'll notice when he does this, he gets an extreme stretch in these. And that might not be for everyone because everyone's mobility is a little bit different, but uh, if you work into it, it's definitely possible. And if you really focus on the stretch, you will feel these and feel these big time. Now, another thing you'll notice in these that the range of motion is a little less. Um, and this is one of the reasons that he talks about this is it's keeping tension in the muscles throughout the whole movement. So when you notice him doing this, it'll look something like this. <sighs> Now you notice as you come down really far, you got that nice deep stretch. You feel those fibers stretching that muscle and then you're bringing it up, stopping just before the tension is released. If you go all the way up. So the tension's still on the chest, you're dropping it back down, really get that deep stretch and then back up. Now you also notice too, that the legs are elevated. So the legs are up in the air. They're not flat on the floor. They're not on the bench. Now, what this is gonna do is create instability. Uh, you're gonna have to stabilize yourself. You're gonna have to contract your core to stabilize the motion, the movement, and it makes it a little bit more difficult, but that's what we're all about in the gym, making things harder, and you're gonna get a lot more benefits from it. So exercise number two, the dumbbell fly, definitely brings out a lot of that pump and those juicy pecs up, baby. Yeah. The next exercise is going to be pullovers. It has its roots in the golden era for sure. A lot of these bodybuilders did it and Arnold was no different. Now he is on record, very famously says, this will increase the size of your rib cage. It will increase your thorax. You know, when he's doing the side chest pose, big old rib cage, big chest coming up, making that shelf. A lot of times he would give credit to pullovers for doing that. Now, the thing about pullovers is a lot of times they will be used in a back day, which is not wrong, but it's not just back. The lats, yes, are involved, but a lot of the chest is involved too, because when you're in the flex position here, especially with the pullover, kind of an extreme flex position, really getting that stretch, and you're pulling over and extending, that chest is gonna have to work to pull that humerus into place there along with the lat. So it is a little bit of a two for one deal in this exercise. So he was very famously um, doing pullovers a lot 
and gave pullovers credit for his massive chest. And that's why we're including pullovers in this list. But not only pullovers, he would superset a lot. And a lot of times he would superset pullovers with dips. So this is gonna be uh, kind of two in one exercise here. So pullovers, dips. Now with dips, it's a little bit of a different story. And again, we were talking about earlier, it's all about angles. Now you'll see the angle in from the incline press now to the dips. It is now the exact opposite direction that you are pushing. So with this, he would talk about it's developing the lower chest. Now there's not really such a thing as a lower chest unless you're just talking about the head that is below the clavicular portion there. That is the sternocostal head there. It's just the pectorals major, that kind of big meaty portion of the chest to kind of give it its girth, kind of give it its weight. And dips are definitely good for that. So very simple compound movement, taking it down, getting that deep stretch like you always did and then bring it back up. Now, similar to the flies, you're keeping that time under tension. So you're not only bringing it really far down, getting that deep stretch in the chest, you're bringing yourself up, but stopping before the lockout. This is gonna help contain a lot more tension and stimulus in the chest, rather than locking out and get more of those triceps involved there. Also, you're gonna flare the elbows a bit too. So that way it adds a bit more of that focus on the chest as you're pressing up. You can see I'm slightly leaning forward. You're really gonna feel that chest activate throughout that motion, that dip motion there. So pairing these two up together is gonna to get a massive pump, a lot of blood, nutrients in that muscle, and give that chest just even more uh, stimulus to grow even bigger. So to go over the pullovers real quick, very simple. You're basically just supporting your upper body on a bench here taking them um, starting position right above your chest, reaching back behind you, getting that nice deep, deep stretch. And a lot of times you would say, take as big a breath as you possibly can, bringing the weight back. This is expanding your rib cage, which is not necessarily a lie there. It is definitely expanding your rib cage because you're taking that deep breath, breathing in, filling it up with air, and then exhaling it as you pull over. Um, it just helps with tempo, it helps contraction, it helps stabilization, so very good habit to get in that nice breathing, that nice motion um, on any exercise, just like pullovers. So pullovers in the bag, dips in the bag, amazing exercise, especially paired up together, hits all those angles, and boom, there's no wonder why Arnold had such an amazing chest. There you go, that was the four exercises that helped build Arnold Schwarzenegger's chest. If you like this video, make sure you give that like, and if you wanna see more like this in the future, let us know who you wanna see, because uh, there's a lot of exercise and a lot of people out there that we could cover. Oh yeah.